migration, we've said that many, many times, from a Muslim country to a Kafir country is not permissible. Regardless of how poor and needy you are, you cannot migrate and leave your Muslim heritage and country to a Kafir country. You can go for five, 10 years, 15 years to work and gain money and then go back, go back to your country or to any Muslim country. But to migrate and fully settle down there, this is totally out of the question and it's haram. And I'm not hiding any uh, uh, thing when I say that monthly I have tens of counseling sessions with second and third generation who parents or grandparents migrated to the US, Canada or Europe and the problems they're facing. People are saying our children, quote unquote, are out of the closet. They're drug addicts. They're criminals. They're socializing with the wrong company. They have abandoned Salat. My daughter doesn't wear the hijab, doesn't have any interest in Islam. And we can't do anything. They force our children to participate in physical education classes, to go into the swimming pool with the opposite gender. If my daughter is there, she has to swim and wear swimsuits. They learn music. Everything that Islam teaches, they force them to do the opposite. And then they come and cry to me and say, what can we do, Sheikh? I don't know. It's too late. You chose the American dream or to live in such a luxurious standard, standard of living. You chose that. But this comes with the, 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 uh, the territory. You have to pay the price. It doesn't come cheap. And unfortunately, your children are the price. And, some, and a lot of the times, your spouse is the price. When she's liberated and she says, I want out. I'm not going to stay in this marriage. And if you don't have a prenup, she's going to sue your backside for half of your property, your income, whatever, for the rest of your life. Then what? So you guys have to understand that going to the West or to the East to work and improve your financial status is halal. Going to migrate and dispose of your Islamic identity and take a passport and give the Pledge of Allegiance to a Kafir country or a government, this is totally unacceptable.